Hey, it's your friend Choice CJ here, and we are back with the next episode of our Tales of Symphonia Let's Play. We are picking up right where we left off. I'm recording this right after the most recent episode. We just crawled our way through the sewers of Mel Tokyo, and uh, we are going to climb our way up. So, without further ado, let's see what happens. We finally made it into the city. Yeah, now we can meet my friends. Where are your friends? At a place called the Elemental Research Laboratory. I learned my summoning arts there. It's also where Corinne was born. Okay, let's go to that elemental research laboratory place then. We did go in there the last time we were here, if I recall. Um, I also want to see if I can't find... What did you say? If you're shopping for items, by all means, please make use of the shop. It's the best in Mel Tokyo. Well, there's only one item in the shop. There's only one item shop, so of course it's the best, but anyway. We'll always show you a professional style, even if you're wanted criminals. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I probably should restock on some of these. Restock that. Um, let's stock up fully on that. I do kind of want a few of these. Let's get a few melange gels, that's what we're going to do for now. Alright, now let's go to the weapon shop. This is why I really wish I like had more of the customization items. Because I can't like barely afford any weapons with all of the money that I'm spending on items and stuff. But it's okay. But yeah, if you did miss the last episode, um, it was actually pretty cool. Oh, um, we'll work on that in a second. We'll, uh, we'll go through this. Sheena, it's you! Kuchinawa, why are you here? I'm on a top secret mission. What about you? <laughs> I guess it's not all that top secret. Uh, I'm in a bit of trouble, actually. My friends and I need to get across the bridge. Friends? Hmm, they're not from Mizuho. They're from Silverant. Lloyd and everyone, this is a friend from Mizuho. His name's Ku Kuchinawa. Or Kuchinawa. Yeah, that's what it is, Kuchinawa. Sheena and I grew up together. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I'll go talk to the people in the laboratory. Alright, they're gonna slowly go down together. I guess we're gonna stay up here. Let's go along and listen too. Yes, yeah, what I figured we would do. That's insane! What's wrong? Listen to this. They want us to cross the sea in an elemental cargo. An element what? Elemental Cargo, typically called EC. It's a compact transport vehicle controlled by X-Spheres. Its maximum load weight is 1400 kilograms and its maximum speed is more than three times faster than an upgraded X-Sphere equipped carriage. They are currently used primarily by shipping co companies for delivery services. Hey, what are we, packages? The Elemental Cargo absorbs mana from the atmosphere and ejects it into the air producing a counter-reaction that propels it forward. So if we use Undini for that, we can get an EC that can surf. Surf. Isn't there any other way? The bridge is closed. You don't have the necessary identification to use an ocean liner. And on top of that, there are two half-elves with you. Not that again. That's the kind of world Tethiala is. We too hardly ever get to leave this building. I wonder why everyone can't get along. Ah, well, there's no point in getting all gloomy. So, will you make that modified EC for us? If you wait a day, we'll have it ready. Okay, well then, let's go rest at my mansion. The Pope's minions aren't going to be there waiting for us there, right? We're going to have to spend the night in this city. So, it doesn't matter where we are, it'll still be dangerous. Yeah, I guess you're right. My mansion's in the Nobles' Quarter to the right of Casa Tathiala. It's a conspicuously big building, so you can't miss it. Well, that's good. Thanks, I guess, Zelos. Um, but yeah, the last episode, we actually were able to free Colette from her... Um, I guess I'll call it her curse... If you could say that, um, you know, she had been going through all these steps to become an angel, 
and it took away all the aspects of her humanity until she eventually lost her memories and her soul. Uh, but Lloyd made an X sphere, or sorry, not an X sphere, a key crest. And it didn't seem like it did anything at first, but then we got attacked by Yuin and Pranima, and the key crest kind of activated, and the it started working, and it restored all the parts of. Oh, is this a shop? This is an armor shop. I would like an armor shop. Wow, I don't have any. I don't have any money. <laughs> Because I wasted it all on that on items. Um, I'm just gonna get stuff for Lloyd because that's all that I really care about. Um, what else can Lloyd wear? No, I'll give him the claw gauntlet because that sounds good. Equip. Yeah, that's see, that's really nice. That's a good upgrade. Definitely worth it. Still wish I could get a uh, better weapon, but I also don't want to sell any of my weapons for money because I could potentially use them to customize later. Oh, what's this? Doesn't let me look at the wanted poster. Why are there the same wanted posters here? It's just too funny. Yeah, I think this is the weapon shop. So let's see what they've got. I'll spend the last little bit of money that I have. Or no, let me real quick. No, that is the customizer. Um, no, we don't have a black silver. We can make a druid cloak. Do we need magical cloth for anything else? Yeah, let's make a druid cloak. We can equip genus with it. Yeah, it's not great, but let's do it. And then for the ogre sword, we need the osafune. Can we buy that from this guy? You can just buy an ogre sword. Um, I must try and sell something. Rune bottle, special potion that can transform other items. Interesting. Shell bottle. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna use that. Um, no, these customization items are way too valuable. I do not want to sell those. I could do that. I'm gonna sell this. I'm never gonna use this, I don't think. I don't mind. And that gives me a little bit more wiggle room, so I'll buy an ogre sword. Um buy what else do I want? Um so I can buy the ray thrust, I can buy silver sword. And I think that's all I really need. Yes, okay, so I can equip him with the silver sword. Wow, that's a big boost. I'm glad I did that. And this is also a relatively big boost. Um, and he doesn't need anything else. She's good. Okay. I don't think I'll regret selling that protect ring. If not, well, then it's too late. But yeah, we were able to, to uh, get back Colette to her normal self. And then we needed to sneak back into Mel Tokyo because we have to find a way to uh, cross the ocean. And uh, Mel Tokyo is going to be able to help us do that. On this side, you've made summon spirits into research subjects. Yes, in order to use mana's energy, it's most efficient to study the summon spirits themselves. Fascinating. In what way are these entities known as summon spirits created? And what effect do they have on the world? I oppose summon spirit research. Oh, why? I just do. Corinne suffered, suffered painful experiences during the experimental stage. Oh, that's right. Corinne is a man-made summon spirit. Fascinating. Uh-oh. Run for it! Come back here this instant! <laughs> it's too funny. It's too funny. Uh, I think this is the right way towards the mansion. Is this it here? It's not time for the dinner party yet. No, it's not. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to be getting to a couple of cutscenes here in uh, just a little bit. But I do want to go ahead and ask you guys my question of the day. Uh, what do you think of... You, you boldly walk the streets despite your status as a criminal. Just what are you thinking? 
Um, what do you guys think of the latest generation of smartphones? Are you an Apple fan? Are you a Apple hater? Do you prefer the Samsung devices? Love to see what your input is. And we'll talk more about that as these cutscenes uh, finish up. Um, welcome home, chosen one. Yo, I'm back! Anything happened while I was gone? I was instructed by the Pope and an emissary of His Majesty Tethiala the 18th to report as soon as the Chosen returned. You can just ignore that. Yes, sir. Ah, who is the guest with the two swords? My bud. Just make yourselves at home. If there's anything you need, sir bud, please speak to me. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. My name's not Bud! That's pretty great. Alright, let's see what everyone's doing here. Hmm, smells nice. What? Is it weird for me to be looking at flowers? No, I guess it's pretty normal. He said that this fireplace ignites by one touch. What's one touch? I don't know. Mylene Wilder? It seems that this is a portrait of Zealous' mother. Well, that's nice. The, these presents are tributes from my honeys. Oh, it's so hard being popular. Oh, Zealous. You get me every time. Where is Mr. Genus? Oh, there's Persea. Oh, this is this is so funny. This is so cute. Persea, uh, I, 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 you're pretty. Pretty? What is that? I'm complimenting you. I see. Then you are pr pr pretty too. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I don't think there's anything in this room. Nope. I love when they fill up with empty rooms that don't have anything in them. But yeah, the thing to do is to talk to Sebastian. Where'd he go? There he is. Will you be retiring to bed now? Yes, let's go to bed. Hey, we get up to full HP. Not bad. Okay then, let's go to the Elemental Research Laboratory. Colette, what's wrong? Hmm, I think I slept wrong. My shoulder feels stiff. Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. I don't really know what that has to do with anything. But yeah, I'm, so I'm asking about the Apple devices and the Samsung devices because they've both been in the news lately for, uh, for different reasons. Um, Apple just released their iPhone 7, which, um, oh, we better avoid the castle. Yeah, let's not go that way. Released the iPhone 7, which, you know, as usual, people are very excited about, but Apple has made the controversial decision to um, remove the headphone jack from their from their device. You now need a some sort of adapter, or you need to get special headphones that go specifically to the lightning jack. Um, and that's really ruffled some feathers, I gotta say. Welcome back. Everything's ready. Where's the EC? Kuchinawa carried it away already. Kuchinawa got it? What? I thought Kuchino Kuchinawa had talked to you about it, but I guess he didn't. Go to the artificial beach on the right side of the Grand Tethiala Bridge. Kuchinawa should be waiting there. Also, take this with you. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? It's a wing pack. You store the EC in it. In this? Is the elemental cargo that small? Ah, I see. They don't have wing packs in Silveron. Man, you guys are a bunch of country folk. Geez, sorry. <laughs> don't get mad now. I'll show you how to use it later. Come on, let's get going. Wait just a second. Come on out, Corinne. I don't think she's gonna like this very much. We're gonna be gone a while. Say goodbye to everyone. It's all right. They aren't going to do any more weird experiments on you. Corinne, how have you been? Look after Sheena for us. I hate this place. I have Sheena, so I won't be lonely. Corinne, don't talk like that. Goodbye. Ah, uh, I guess Corinne still hates us. All right, we got the wing pack. Excellent. Okay. 
But yeah, so Apple got the got rid of the headphone jack. And I'm never gonna, never gonna get the chance to talk about it because we have to talk about all these skits. Man, I can't wait to board the EC. Lloyd sure is carefree about this. No kidding. It's ridiculous that we're going to be riding over the ocean in something that was designed as a land vehicle. You think so? It sounds a lot more reliable than those wash tubs. Wash tubs? No way! Don't tell me that in Silver Rock you cross the ocean on wash tubs. <laughs> Just thinking about those wash tubs is making me sick. But yeah, they did that, and I guess there's two reasons that they did it, in my mind. Um, first is, you know, they want to be able to just kind of corner the, the market more and be, you know, make everybody buy yet another new, uh, like, sort of accessory. Like when they got rid of the old charger and moved to the new charger, everyone had to buy new cables for that. And now everyone's got to buy um, new, new headphones or buy an adapter. You know, and those and those accessories are not useful for anything except Apple devices. Um, so it just gets people, you know, married more and more into the ecosystem of Apple, which I suppose is a good business strategy. But I can understand how it's frustrating. Uh, the other reason I probably figured they did it is because the headphone jack was used for a lot of those, uh, like, uh, credit card swipe accessories. So places like food trucks and stuff like that uh, will use uh, this device, plug it into the headphone jack, and uh, turn their device into a form of payment. But that competes directly with the Apple Pay, uh, which has become pretty popular. So they took that in order to cut out the competition that way. Um, Kuchinawa should be waiting for us at the bottom of the right staircase. Okay then, let's go. But yeah, and that to me, like, I don't know. Like, I don't like either of those reasons. It is locked. Hmm, you're right. I'll take care of it. There we go. Wow, Lloyd, you're amazing. At least he's useful for certain things. His face loses out to mine, though. What has my face got to do with anything? You can see the bridge. Ah, you're right. Are those decoration-looking things X-Spheres? That's right, Colette. The bridge is operated by X-Spheres. It's a bit gross-looking. It certainly is grotesque. Although, knowing where X-Spheres come from, I'm not sure it's appropriate to describe them that way. You're right. But yeah, like, you know, I guess, you know, I can understand that they want to protect their, their service, their product. But it just stinks because the people that they're hurting are not, like, big businesses. It's not like, uh, you know, places like Target and Walmart and whatever are going to be using the swipe technology instead of uh, Apple Pay. You know? So it's just frustrating to me. But I've always kind of been bothered by Apple. You know, I, I unfortunately do have an iPhone 6S. Yeah, but, you know, it's just, it really is, you know, the best overall product out there. It took you long enough. This is the EC. Okay, Lloyd, try using that pack you just got. Let's see, like this? <laughs> Whoa! Wow, that's incredible! Wow, how does it work? Why do I feel like I've seen this before? Ah, uh, nothing. See, it fits inside. It just appeared. It's amazing. This is so cool. Let's try bringing it back out. There we go. Wow! It came back out. That's enough goofing around. How about getting on your way? Yeah. Alright, I can't wait to make use of this EC. This is great. You know you'll just get bored of it in no time. Wow, we get to go out to sea. We're going to sea, aren't we? Let's get going then. Off to Cyback. Sheena, take this with you. A 
protective charm? Yes, be careful. Acquire Kuchinoa's charm. Well, that's nice. Bendini! Alright, let's get this propulsion going. Ready, set, go! Alright. Yeah, as I was saying, you know, the... You know, it's it's tough. I think I do think that Apple is the best maker of smartphones out there. Um, you know, and it's never really been like that big of a difference until right now, where there's all this uh, all of these issues with the new Samsung Galaxy Note and it literally exploding, um, which is just absurd that that's happening. Um, you know, and it's not like it's like nuclear explosion, like. Not like that sort of dramatic, but, you know, it's hurting people and it's making things unsafe. Just the other week there was an issue, where do I want to go now? I don't remember. Yeah, this is Cyback. Kratos! Are you trying to take Colette away? I have no intention of fighting you inside the city. You still lack the skills to defeat me. Don't insult me! I merely speak the truth. Chosen one, if you wish to live, you must remove that worthless key crest. No, I'm never taking it off. Lloyd gave this to me. Foolish sentiments. He wasn't after Colette? Man, what an arrogant SOB, talking as if he knows everything. While we're on the subject of ways of talking, why don't you do something about the vulgar language? <laughs> anyway, Lloyd, we must go see this Kate person. Yeah, let's get going. All right, let's go get Persea some help. But yeah, this whole thing with Samsung is absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm recording this on Tuesday, and they said that they are going to halt production and do like, you know, basically another complete recall. Um, because they tried to recall all of the products and fix them the first time. We can't go in from the front. Let's go in through the secret passage. Where is the secret passage? Is this it? Did I try to do this? Here it is. Okay. Gotcha. Right now we're Kate's lab. Yeah, so I just, I can't believe it. Like... Like, Samsung's always been a pretty good competitor for Apple, but just the right now, their <laughs> construction of their phone is obviously horrible. So, it sucks. Like, there's really no better option but the iPhone at this moment. I mean, I guess, you know, there's not just the Galaxy Note. You can get the Samsung Galaxy, um, which I guess is, a, you know, the, the, the normal phone, whereas the Galaxy Note is the phablet, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know. It's just very curious. Um... I feel like Apple's like a necessary evil at the moment. It's you! We've saved our friends and came back with Persea just like we promised. Yes, you're right. The strange mana produced by the fusion in, of elven and human blood. You really do have half-elf friends. I've heard the story. Persea's creating a Crucius crystal inside her body? Yes, that's correct. We call it the Angelus Project. The Angelus Project? That's the project my mom was involved in. The X-Sphere itself is nothing special. It just has a special key crest placed on it. This key crest delays the X-Sphere's parasitic process, which can take place over a few days or up to several decades. It seems that this can cause X-Spheres to mutate into Crucius Crystals. Is the parasitic infection of the X-Sphere the reason why Persea's emotional response is so subdued? So she's just like Colette. If we leave Persea like this, what will happen to her? When the parasitic process is complete, she will die. That's horrible. Please save her. What did she ever do to you? Nothing. She hasn't done anything. She just matched in the compatibility test. You promised. You're going to save her, right? Yes, I know. 
You didn't discriminate against half-elves. I'll keep my promise. Kate, are you sure? If you do that, you'll... A promise is a promise. In order to save Persea, speak to a dwarf named Altessa who lives deep in Garakia Forest. There are dwarves in this world, too? Yes, he and I participated in this experiment by the order of the Pope. Sheesh, not that pathetic old man again. Don't call him a pathetic old man. Oh my, that's unusual, a half-elf siding with the Pope. I'm not siding with him. Anyway, have Altessa repair Persea's keycrest. Lloyd, can't you fix it? To be honest, I can't even tell the difference between this and a normal keycrest. It'd probably be faster to search for that dwarf, Altessa. Then it's settled. settled. Shall we head for Garokia Forest? Yeah, though could there be a connection between the Pope and the designs? Yes, I'm wondering about that too. Okay, so it looks like we have our marching orders. I don't think we want to go that way. I think we have to go back out through the hidden exit. And uh, we'll make our way to that forest. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think of all of the, the mess that's going on in the smartphone world. Uh, it's kind of like you got to pick your poison right now. You got to go with the uh, you know consumer exploitation that is Apple or you've got to go with the exploding phones um, <laughs> you know neither are very good options um, I really wish I had some of this stuff I can make a pointed hat I will make one who can I equip it to um, head. I gave it to him. Yeah, let's give it to Lloyd. Is there anyone else who can benefit from having the... Yeah, he can benefit from the helm, so that's good. He doesn't have anything that can be found. That's too bad. But yeah, let's duck out of here. Go to the field. And yeah, I think we had to head on north. At long last. And we can go back to this forest that... We tried to go to like four or five episodes ago, but weren't allowed to. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Yeah, I was, uh, I had an Android phone when I first got a smartphone. And then I got the iPhone 4 because it was a dollar to upgrade, and I've had an iPhone since ever since then. Uh, so it's been four or five years about since I've had it. You know, it's never done, been it's never been bad for me, but I don't know. Wow, it's dark. Colette, you're awfully cheery. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is the place that we weren't allowed to go through before because it was cursed, and here we are. Whoops, it's the Papal Knights. Zelos, the Chosen, you are in the way of the Pope. Yeah, <laughs> I've known that since I was a kid. So that makes things simple. It is time for you to die. All right, let's go punish these scrubs. I do really like now that we're in Tethiala, you have sort of this, um, like the plot's taken uh, an interesting turn because you have all these factions that are warring against one another. You've got the king, you've got the pope and the church, you've got Zelos and you know whoever he's aligned with. You have Mizuho, you have the Desians, you have Crucius, Church of Martell. And of course, our faction, uh, you know, the Travelers from Silveron. So it's just really fascinating. You have all these parties that are working uh, against one another, sometimes with each other, but mostly against one another. And I think that's really where like the layers of, of uh, narrative and story really uh, shine. Like the overarching plot, like, you know, world regeneration, not quite what it seemed has been done before um, in lots of games, including Final Fantasy X. We won, but what are we going to do now? What else before they bring in reinforcements? We'll get the heck out of here. But to where? Perhaps Altessa's place? Exactly. Alright, so 
we're in a new dungeon, so we gotta find our uh, our new sorcerer's ring thing. <laughs> sorcerer's ring thing, and here it is. What does this do? Hey, this time it emits light. It's like a lamp. What do we use it for? The forest is dark, so there may be some plants that react strongly to light. Good point. Yeah, and it looks like we have this little meter up here. I think we have to charge it up. Let's do the skit. The Karokia Forest used to be a normal forest a long time ago. Oh, really? But then, one day, a thief hid a stolen treasure deep in the forest. Treasure? What kind of treasure? It was a jewel worth several billion gold. So anyway, he slaughtered everyone who came looking for it. Whoa, that's horrible. Over time, the forest came, became stained with blood, transforming into a cursed place, haunted by the lingering resentment of the people killed here. Ugh, are you serious? Huh, <laughs> you're just trying to scare us, right? Even now, when travelers enter the forest, the thief's ghost comes to kill them. And the ones he killed also seek to increase their numbers. Ah! <laughs> Sheesh, not even three-year-olds believe stories like that these days. <laughs> oh, you troll. Yeah, so we stand in the light like this. And it's going to charge our beam up. And as Rain said, I do think we use this to react to plants and uh, if they're blocking our path and things like that, we should be able to make it clear out. Like, for example, we should be able to do this if we don't get attacked first. So we'll deal with this. I think what we'll do is we'll try and finish up this, uh, this little dungeon this episode and uh, we'll call it uh, time for a break after that. Because I do need to make sure I can edit these videos that way they can go up on time. Because as much fun as I'm having playing them, I am, you know, playing them with the purpose of putting them on YouTube. Which, if you're watching this, you probably figured out. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, open this guy up. And, hey, Phoenix Rod, that sounds like an item for, uh, for our buddy Rain. Hey, it had not even bad. Got a pretty good increase there. Yeah, we'll see. I remember this being kind of difficult to navigate, so we'll have to figure out exactly which way we need to go. Can we go down at all? Yeah, here's another chest over here. Excellent, which is robe. That also sounds like an item for rain. Yep, it gives her a little bit of extra defense. That sounds good to me. I think we're gonna have to fight this guy if we want to break through. So let's try that. Yeah, these these enemies aren't too hard, and I f actually feel a lot better with having a... Uh... You know what I didn't do? I didn't equip the Ogre Sword. Yeah, wow, look at that big boost. Is there other people that I didn't equip with their weapons? No, I gave it to him, gave it to him. I'll have to check in a second, but I think I gave Genus his weapon already. But yeah, now we should be laying on the hurt, doing quite a bit more damage, at least I hope. That is the goal. But yeah, we'll get through here, we'll meet the Dwarf Altessa, and that's when things really start to get interesting. Um, yep, let's open up this path. Come on. Why, you know... Why, you know, do the thing. There we go. You just have to get the right angle on it, I guess. So what is back in here? Oh, so this is the way back to here? Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's a chest underneath here. Drain charm, that sounds neat. Um, sorry, so I'm just like roaming around aimlessly for the most part. Because like one, I'm not exactly sure where I wanna go or need to go, but I also, you know, like to 
explore everywhere because I want to get all the items. Because that's the sort of completionist that I am. And I'm having a hard time aiming this. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Pretty ribbon. Who can that go to? Let's give it to Perseya. Good old boost in 10 defense. And if I'm not mistaken, after a while, the paths begin to, like, repeat themselves. You know, just to get you even more lost. But that might not be this dungeon. I think that might be a different one. Hmm, does this not work on this? I guess not. Might have to try that another time. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Uh, need to fight this guy. Oh, no, apparently not. Apparently he can just march in and out, even though I can't. Oh, what? I don't remember I don't remember if that was a part of the original game or not, or if that's a, that's a new glitch. But yeah, they, they, you know, the fact that there's all these groups that are working um, in opposition of one another is what makes this world seem, like, really, you know, pretty vast and pretty deep. Um, you know, it's kind of like Game of Thrones, right? You know, and I don't mean that, like, I don't mean to, like, exaggerate and, like, say this is anywhere as, like, grand or fantastic as Game of Thrones. But, you know, just like in Game of Thrones, it's like, oh, you know, such and such uh, family is, um, you know, coming to uh, protect King's Landing from over here. And uh, now we've got to go to uh, Winterfell and... You know, this, that, and the other thing. And, uh, we're supporting Rob Stark. Or, uh, or no, we're supporting... Uh, you know, the, the Lannisters. You know, and, you know, there's all these big battles going on all over the place. And everyone has an agenda. And everything, like, everything is hidden in some way. Like, everyone's true objectives and true motivations are protected. As you can see, this is the this is a way where it's just repeating itself. We need to go back down this way because that's just gonna get us trapped in an infinite loop. So we'll see if we can figure out the right way to go. Here's a new place because there's a chest here that I haven't opened. Angel bracelet. Who can we put that to? Is Colette get one? Yeah, sure, that sounds good. Oh, also, I just remembered I want to use this... I want to use these things on Lloyd. I would just do accuracy by one. I guess that's fine. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Or maybe it does. I don't really understand what any of the stats do in this game. But I'm not sure that I really need to understand. All I need to do is just slash the crap out of stuff. And that usually works pretty well. Okay, and this is where it begins to repeat again. So when we get to this edge here, we'll go back down. What if we go left? So we already came this way, it seems. Let's skillfully dodge that. Yeah, but if I were to, like, build a game of some sort, that's what I would want it to be like. Like, I, you know, I, wa I would want the players to feel like, you know, that they can have an impact on the game. Oh, I guess, I guess I did do it. I guess that's it. For some reason, that doesn't feel right. It can't go that way. What's over here? Huh, this is interesting. Yeah, I don't know if this is quite where I'm supposed to go, but I do I do want to look at these things. Sigh. What's wrong? Huh? Why are you sighing? Oh, I was just thinking that I've changed. You have? I think I've become more stubborn because of you. Hey, that's good. No, it's not. We only need one person who's stubborn. Hey, like the professor says, you shouldn't give up on things so easily. That's true, but you do get bored with things pretty easily. No, I don't. I don't give up on anything. Liar. 
Then why did you stop trying to memorize the Summon Spirit relational chart? That's another matter. Anyway, let's go. I'm getting bored of this place. Lloyd, you don't follow what you say. <laughs> Yikes, Genus is uh, laying down the smack talk. Yeah, so I, I don't think this gets us all the way to uh, the where we need to be, really. But it does give us this... Uh, does give us the obelisk of navigation. Which is not its official name, but it's what I've been calling it. Uh, let's see what going on here. Doesn't it bother you, Colette? What? You know, being the Chosen. It's your own life. Don't you wish you could live it the way you want to? I'm living freely. Everyone is searching for a way so I don't have to sacrifice myself. But what if there isn't any way? Well, we'll worry about that when the time comes. Even if I lose my body, my heart will still be free. So I want the world to become a happy place, just like my heart desires. You're amazing, Colette. I could never be like that. No. I just talk like that. If it really came down to it, I'm sure I couldn't do it. I'm a pretty pathetic Chosen. No, you really are amazing. Compared to you, I... And... End scene. I mean, what's going on over here with all these guys? Is there anything fancy? Nope. But yeah, so we are going to have to go back into the forest. Got all excited. But it doesn't seem that there's anything that we can do right now. There is a little uh, tower over there. I don't remember precisely what it is. I, I think I have an idea, but I, of course, won't spoil anything at the moment. But uh, let's get back into this forest. I'm glad I took this little trip, but it doesn't really do much for us right now. And I'm not sure that we'll be able to use uh, the... the uh, the obelisk once we get to the other side. I think that might be a different part of the continent. But yeah, I got so excited because I thought I had finished it already. But apparently not. I think we have to fight the Papal Knights one more time before we get out of the forest, but we'll see what uh, happens uh, when we get to the end. Okay. Yeah, uh, what was it, what was I saying? I want to I want to if I made a game like I would want to create a world that the players feel like they have like some effect on. Not like a hey, like we can save the world kind of thing. Like cuz I think that the you know, not every game needs to be like hey, we save the world. Like it can always just it can be about just, you know, having an effect on what's around you and you know, being like powerful enough not to not to impose your will, but, you know, to, like, have an influence, I guess. Like, you're allowed to, like, have influence in your town and stuff like that without having to be these, like, all-powerful spellcasters and, and everything. But I also want them to feel like the, like the world is, like, a living and breathing thing, you know? So you have these other factions that have their own agendas that are oftentimes going to be in opposition to the players. And, you know, the, the, the players, you know, can... can, uh... I wouldn't say manipulate it, you know, but they can... they can... uh... they can affect whether or not these groups get what they want or not. That's for sure. But, like, the... like, what makes the world seem, like, fantastic to me... It's, like, all of the goings-on. You know, it doesn't have to be about, like, world regeneration or anything quite so noble. Like, it can just be like, hey, you know, we're this hunter's guild. And, you know, we want to do, you know, hunt fun stuff. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I hope it makes sense. And uh, I'm not quite sure of a game that's, like, a great example. Um, I mean, Fallout kind of is an example. In Skyrim, because you have a whole bunch of these missions where it's just like, you know, 
that are like you know not as grand like you know you do things like uh, you know you just help out random strangers help them get whatever you know feed their cattle whatever else like some of those open world games but you know you still are sort of like all powerful and at the end of the day like the mission of the game is like pretty clear you know like you're supposed to do have some sort of like world altering event and you're like the cause of it so yeah, I'm not sure what other good examples are. And of course, as I talk about this, I'm just like really wandering aimlessly, hoping to find the exit. And I'm not doing a very good job of it, but I have like 10 or 15 more minutes before the episode's supposed to end. So no big deal. No, no rush yet. But yeah, I, I don't know if I quite vocalized uh, like what I meant. But hopefully it makes some sort of sense, and if any of you guys want to talk more about it, like, you know, just leave something down in the comments below. It's always fun to talk about that. You know, I don't think I really have what it takes to be, like, a game designer. Or anything like that. I don't think I'd want to be a game designer. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, I'm still not sure exactly where I'm going. But, you know, I, I do... You know, I like I, I like to run D and D games and things like that, and so it's pretty easy to run games there, because at least they give you a rule set that you can work with. But you know, it'd just be fun to. Oh, okay. I think we finally made it. I do want to see what's in this other direction real quick, if I can dodge the enemy. What is over here? Uh, just the other side of that. Okay, that's fine. You just gotta come up with a story and you know a, a setting where your players can uh, can play, which is definitely can't be tricky. But at least they give you a lot of tools to do that, and you also you know you can benefit from imagination. You know you don't have to physically design anything on a computer. I hear something. Footsteps from far away. I don't hear anything. Colette still has her angel senses. They're definitely footsteps. Also, the sound of clinking armor. There are lots of them. It's coming from that direction. That can't be good. Altessa lives over there. Could it be more of the same guys from earlier? I'll send Corinne out to scout. That's the guy from the Mel Tokyo sewer. Man, it's just one thing after another with the Pope. Am I really that much of a problem to him? I do not wish to fight you. I just want to speak with that girl. With Prisea? You've got to be kidding. Or did you forget that you tried to kill us? I cannot speak for any others. However, I, at least, never intended to take your lives. My orders were to retrieve a girl named Colette. Me? I will do you no harm. Prisea is her name, correct? Please, let me speak with her. An X-Sphere? You are yet another victim? Prisea's in danger! I don't know what the heck is going on, but we have to stop this guy! Alright. We have no choice but to fight. Let's take on this, uh, this jailbird. I guess for lack of a better word. Because he's, you can see he's wearing the shackles. It looks like we'll be able to do it. He's got some pretty powerful attacks though. That's for sure. And then maybe we'll learn a little bit more after the, after the battle. Of course he's in the over limit, which is definitely not good for me. Um, we need to use a life bottle on Prisea. All right, here we go. Now we can get some. Now we can get some work done. Yeah, look at that fatty combo. I'm starting to figure out how to use the combos again. And uh, we're getting pretty low on health. 
Okay, let's see if we can nimbly dodge that guy. Uh, apple gel. Cool. There we go. We're doing some good damage to him. How much health does he have left? Uh, we're gonna have to restock our magic lenses sometime soon. Oh, he's almost done. No. Darn it. No. Don't kill him yet. I want the experience. There we go. And he's got the overlimit on again, so we can't... There we go. Good job, Perseia. You took him out. You showed him. Sheena acquired Spirit Seal. He sounds like he has reasons for his actions. Perhaps we should take him prisoner? I'm sure he has much to tell us. Sheena! There were a lot of soldiers and they're all coming this way! Run away, quickly! Looks like Colette was right. The footsteps... keep getting louder. Uh, shouldn't we get out of here? But the Papal Knights are waiting for us if we go back. It looks like we have no choice. I'll take you to the village of Mizuho. Whoa there, Sheena. Isn't Mizuho a hidden village, kept secret from outsiders? But we'll be trapped from both sides if we don't do something. There's nothing we can do but take shelter in the village. Okay. Please show us the way, Sheena. He's zealous. Carry the big guy for us. Me? You want me to carry this ogre by myself? Are you kidding me? Here, I'll help. Zealous will have a hard time by himself. Aw, oh, you're so nice, Colette. We Chosens have to look out for each other, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's lighter than I thought. <laughs> I can carry him myself. <laughs> All the guys are freaking huh, out. I see. Men are so useless these days. Come on, we need to go. That's something. That's hilarious. Alright, let's go down this way, and apparently this is going to take us to Mizuho. Let's do the skit, and then we'll think about wrapping up after that. Where in Garokia Forest is this Mizuho village? I can't tell you that. We'll be there soon anyway, so just be patient. I see you Mizuho people are as secretive as ever. It's to protect our unique culture. If you don't like it, you can wait in the forest. You've got to be kidding. I'll pass on being left behind in the forest of death. The odds of surviving alone in Garokia Forest, 25%. Ouch, don't say stuff like that, Prisea. You'll be fine. You look like the type that just won't die. I'll second that. What? You know what they say, the pretty boys die young. Incorrect usage detective. Detected. Correction necessary. Prisea! <laughs> okay, let's see if we can uh, dodge all these guys here. And uh, there you go, we are at Mizuho. So, this was another good episode, pretty productive. Make sure you guys answer the question of the day. What do you think about iPhone 7, Galaxy Note 7, smartphones in general? And uh, make sure you sub to the channel so that we can keep up the date on this series, and you can ke keep up the date on all of my other gaming and Pokemon content. So, until the next time, I will see you all later.